Hey, what's up guys? Thomas Fang, Bay Area Connect. This Monday's market report is for Cupertino area for January of 2012. For a copy of this market report, shoot me an email at thomas.fang at gmail.com. To see this data overlay with school information, new listings, sold listings, give me a call 408-840-3852. I'm also on Facebook at facebook.com slash Bay Area Connect. If you want to get all my content sent to your feed automatically, just like the page. I'll have all my new listing photos, market reports, and weekly news. So let's jump right into it. Market stats for January 2012 Cupertino area. Median list price of all current listings is at $785,000, down 2% from last month. January's median sales price is at $999,000, up 19% from last month. Total properties currently for sale on the inventory is 47, down 11%. January's number of properties sold is 22 units, down 57%. January average days on market is 44, down 19%. Property sales, we're going to be looking at this graph next. But first, let's talk about the stats for January. Um, we can see that median list price is down a little bit, but the median sales price is up. So even though the current listing price is lower, the buyers that bought properties in that area, in Cupertino area, were mostly in the higher price listings. The currently inventory is at 47 units. We're down 11% for January. 22 units sold in January isn't too bad for the first month of the year, as we'll see later on. Uh, but let's look at property sales for January. January property sales were at 22 units, down 15% from 26 in January of 2011, and down 56.9% lower than the 51 sales last month. January 2012 sales were at their lowest level compared to January of 2011 and 2010 as well. January year-to-date sales of 22 are running 15% behind last year's year-to-date sales of 26. All right, for the three month average, we see over the life of the 2011 year and January that January is always the lowest for the year. So starting off at 22 units, it's a very low number, but it's not uh, something that we haven't seen before. And it does show that the property sales do pick up starting about February and March. Let's look at the price chart. The median sales price in January was at $999,000, up 10% from $902,000 in January of 2011, and up 18% from $841,500 last month. The average sales price in January was at $928,000, up 1% from $920,000 in January of 2011, and up 10% from $843,000 last month. January 2012 ASP was at a mid-range compared to January of 2011 and 2010. So when we're looking at the price graph, we're going to take a look. I always take a look at the av three-month average just so you could get a clearer sense of how the average is doing because each month might be skewed. Some months might be hotter than the next. And for pricing, that does fluctuate very quickly. And that's probably one of the biggest important factors to a lot of buyers. So always go with the average on that. The average is pretty steady. Most of 2011, it did dip a little in the fourth quarter. But coming out of that in January, we're already seeing higher prices already. So in this high price area of the Cupertino market, this is definitely a really good sign. For the inventory, a total of inventory properties available for January was 47, down 11% from 53 last month, and down 45% from 86 in January of last year. January 2012 inventory was at the lowest level compared to January of 2011 and 2010. So in this graph, we see that this January, when compared to the previous year's January, is definitely the lowest. Again lowest always in January as we can see from the graph. 
the inventory is. So it always does round out in the summer months. That's when we're seeing the most inventory and usually also the most buyers in the market. Market time, let's take a look at this graph. The average days on market is currently at an upward trend. No, actually a downward trend, sorry about that. A downward move towards more of a seller's market. Days on market was at 44, down 18% from 54 days last month and down 18% from 54 days in January of last year. The January 2012 days on market was at its lowest level when compared with January 2011 and 2010. So the current days on market is around 44 days to close escrow. That's about a month and a week's time, almost about a month's time. So that's a very fast closing for many buyers that get financing. It takes about 30 days at least. So that time, it's very good for Cupertino area because Homes are selling fast and deals aren't really falling out. The selling price per square foot for January 2012 was at 537, up only 0.2% from 536 last month and up 0.6% from 534 in January of last year. The selling price per square foot is usually a good indicator of where the market is going. So when we look at the graph, we see that for the past two years, it has been at a close level between 520 to 540 and it always starts around there and then from there it does climb up so we're looking again for year 2012 that the market bounces back we're continuing to see increased prices let's take a look at new listings for cupertino january 2012. all right for the lower price listings 400 and below we're seeing them in the eastern side, closer to Campbell and San Jose, and those are three condo townhomes in the under the 400s. Eight were in the 500s, and three in the 600s, with a total of 56 new listings on the market in Cupertino. For sold listings in Cupertino area, we had a total of 46 sold listings. Six were under the 400s, five in the 300s, three in the 600s, and 32 sold listings in the 700 plus price range. For Cupertino 2012 year to date, we currently have 18 sold properties. All right, let's look back over that new listing map to see where properties are popping up now. Um, sellers are getting on the market for the spring selling season. So again, in the Monta Vista area, we're seeing most of the million price listings over there, million price plus, and most of those are single family homes with three homes uh, that are condo town homes. In the Limbrook area, which is between De Anza Boulevard, Bullinger Road, and Cox Avenue, we're seeing also a lot of the high price listings, 900 to a million plus. In the Cupertino High area, which is from South De Anza, Stevens Creek, and uh, Lawrence Expressway. No, under Lawrence Expressway. But we're seeing also in this area 700 and million plus as well, but with lower prices in that area. Again, working with buyers, we found that the best way to really get a good, home, good deal on a home is to take a tour of five to six homes in the area. You find an older listing to better negotiate on and you really get to know that market area at the same time. To schedule an appointment, give me a call, 408-840-3852, or shoot me an email at thomas.fang at gmail.com. Thanks again for watching, and have a great week.